Hey everybody, Jeff B and you have reached my channel. So, goofing around with a uh, borrowed camera right now and I'm just going to hang out in the fish room a little bit, do a quick tour and just babble at you a little bit. I have a range of things going on in the fish room, all of which are very exciting for me. I have some new species coming in in a couple days. Uh, scored a uh, big old tank off a really nice lady I met on one of my Facebook uh, groups. Uh, who was moving and had to ditch her tank and fish uh, and hopefully it was somebody who could take care of it well. Naturally I uh, came upon it. This involved a really late night journey to the other side of the island. A uh, fish move that it, it, you know basically involved me doing uh, everything that needed to be done to get this thing done. Uh, fending off a uh, boyfriend or roommate who was uh, possibly a little too tipsy and a little too present uh, when she didn't want him to be, but ultimately the fish is going on to a new good place, tank is in a good place, and we're stoked in Jeff B's fish room right now. Uh, so what we're looking at right now is the 120. Uh, 120 houses a uh, mix of different species. Peacekeeper, my viejas and spillum, is uh, kind of the main vein in here. Uh, backed up by the filament barbs, or black spot barbs. Got my little garami in here. I want to say that it's a three spot garami, but I am not. not that into them. Not to say I don't like them, I just never bothered learning about them. And this is my um, Argentea. Uh, this has been a bucket list fish of mine for a very long time, and I'm super pumped to have them in the fish room. Definitely like to make this as part of the. Uh, a future breeding project would be great. But right now it's just a little guy coming along. Matter of fact, not even bigger than the barbs. Uh, but does have attitude to spare, that is for sure. As you can see, he has no problem trying to pick on Peacekeeper. Peacekeeper sort of lets that happen. I, I really can't figure out why. I think it has to do with something like, you know when you see a little puppy tugging on a big dog's lips and the big dog doesn't tear it to shreds because it knows it's a puppy? I, I think that's what's going on, but I, I, you know, I can't call it. I really can't call it. Moving over here, we got my big guy. My guy, your guy. That's purple. Let's see if this camera will do this. Oh, of course it will. Talk to me, buddy. Purple's my red chili flower horn, and he is a beast of perfection. That's what he is. Uh, you will probably notice that a lot of my fish room needs some very, very, very serious cleaning. And you're right, it really, really does. But I'm not doing that tonight. Tonight we're just sharing and playing with this camera. I really do have to apologize. I fucked up. I don't really know what just happened there. Normally, I'd like a camera that would focus on its own. Okay. So that's my purple boy. It's a big old, big old fish. And definitely a standard in the fish room. That's a buddy of mine, aren't you purple? You're a buddy of mine, aren't you buddy? He's definitely looking for something to drop into the top of that thing. That's the thing about flower horns. Well, fish in general, flower horns for sure. They're ready to eat all the time. No question about it. I'm hoping this video comes out good. Through this end of the camera, it looks amazing. But not a lot of autofocus action, which I'm not too thrilled about. So if you'll just bear with me while I'm working this out. Again, borrowed camera. AF on. Bingo! Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we just upgraded here. So I got some new plants in here and balanced this out a little bit. This fish is definitely low on stock right now. Um, I did just come up on some new fish, but they're all little bottom dwellers. I got another little chunky little girl clown pleco. And then a spotted Raphael catfish, which comes out every now and again. 
still have my little porthole catfish in here, kicking it. But I'm very much into this tank right now. And I get it. I know it's not something special. I know that uh, Takashi Amano makes better tanks. I know just about anybody makes better tanks, but I like it. I hit a good stride with this tank and it's working. It's not all full of funk. I mean, there's yes, there's some detailing I can do to it, but it's not all full of funk. It's just working and I like it. Uh, down here, guppies and three empty tanks that have water and nothing else. Nothing else, man. Kitty. In here being all kitty. Can we see kitty? There's my kitty. Kitty's a walking catfish and kitty's doing the shy thing right now. Who do we have in here? These are fun little guys. Let's see these guys. Let's see if we can get them in focus here. There. Cuban cichlid. Haitian cichlid. It's going to be part of my future breeding projects, and I'm really, really excited. Just let them grow out and watch their personality, and even really just at barely an inch long, these fish are definitely ready to get separated from each other. Uh, so that's going to be coming up here. We're going to be trying to make some space. Top tank. Woo! Boy, top tank. I just had one heck of a tragedy go on in here. I'll just keep it short. I don't want to make a whole episode out of it. I did a water change, put the tank, the hose all the way down, drained the water, got distracted in the house, and basically drained all the water out of the tank and left the fish flopping around on the glass. I realized what I had done, came running in here, panicked, flipping the heck out. <sighs> got it refilled. Balanced it out with some water from the other tanks, and somehow I didn't lose all my fish. I'm Completely amazed. Because normally that kind of stupidity and lack of attention will do that. This is uh, Bash. Bash is my Parachromus dovine. His tank needs a scrub and definitely needs a scrubbing. But let's get up on this guy. We got a little clean spot. Parachromus dovis, one of the best fish you can keep if you have the means and you're willing to make the space. They are off the chart. Incredible. Off the chart, incredible. I cannot tell you how much I love this fish. Spent a lot of time hanging out with this boy. He's a good, good fish to keep. Real impressive species. So that's Bash. Coming back over here. New 125 is set up and on a stand that I have built. So I'm stoked to get that going. That's gonna have some very uh, fun plecos that hopefully I'll be able to keep to a breeding size and move on. Uh, if not, well, it's ready to go for whatever it needs to go with. And since I'm psychotic, I'm sure I'll find something. If you go into the garage side of my garage here, this is the tank I picked up. It's another one, 125 acrylic. Uh, this needs a little buffing out, but ultimately it is not bowing in any way, shape, or form. It's strong in the seals. I am flipping pumped on this. Um, I'm most likely going to let it go to somebody who is in need of a tank, but it's still good to help people out. At any rate, listen, real quick one. I kind of want to just test this camera out and see how it does. Fish room rambling, fish room cruiser, 808 fish keeper, Maui Fish Keeping Association, and Jeff B. One love gang.